Modern Mysteries, a presentation of BenPatia.com. The Georgia Guidestones. Quote, Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. Unite humanity with a living new language. Rule passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court. Avoid petty laws and useless officials. Balance personal rights with social duties. Prize truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. Be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. Unquote. So read the so-called Guidestones to an Age of Reason, as they proclaim in ancient cuneiform, Greek, Sanskrit, and hieroglyphics on their uppermost roof, popularly called the Georgia Guidestones. Located nine miles north of the center of Elberton, the county seat of Elbert County, Northeast Georgia, USA. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the global human population in 1979, the year the monuments were erected, was 4,378,565,589, or about 4.3 billion. This means that in the year the Guidestones were engraved, for the global population to have been reduced to 500 million would have required 3,878,565,589 people to be exterminated. As of today, September 28, 2014, the world population is approximately... 7,194,977,000, according to the same source, the U.S. Census. This means for the world population to be reduced to the Guidestones' recommended sum of 500 million, it would require the deaths of some 6,694,977,000, people alive now. In other words, the difference between 1979's world human population and today's is so great that it is even larger itself than the entire world population of people was in 1979. In June 1979, an unknown person or persons under the pseudonym R.C. Christian hired Elberton Granite Finishing Company to build the structure. In 1986, Graphic Publishing Company Incorporated, in Lake Mills, Iowa, published the book Common Sense Renewed, authored by the same alleged Robert Christian. In this book, the author puts forward their ideas on cultural evolution, guiding human reproduction, some proposals for improving our society, on the conversion of Russia, and on how to make partners of rivals. Foreseeing the contemporary glasnost and perestroika as heralding the inevitable collapse of the Soviet economy, the author offers a form of Fabian socialist model for a new world order or one world government in which existing superpowers would be forced to cooperate more than compete. It is a safe assumption that the pseudonym 
Robert Christian, was chosen to reflect the Christian Rosenkrunz, who founded the Order of the Rosy Cross, or Rosicrucians. However, this implies further that his group of affiliates, which he claimed to represent, and who may have funded the endeavor collectively, are researchers of esoteric traditions and occultism. Thus, it cannot be excluded from the debate on the Guidestone's origins that a Freemasonic influence was present as well, as, after all, the monuments have been compared to other astro-archaeological megaliths requiring mastercraft masonry, such as Stonehenge, the Druid worship site. If this is the case, then the history lection from the 13th degree of Southern Jurisdiction Scottish Rite Freemasonry comes immediately to attention, as it describes the building by Enoch of a monument to be preserved until after the destruction of the world. In 2008, the stones were defaced with polyurethane paint and graffiti with slogans such as Death to the New World Order. Wired Magazine called the defacement the first serious act of vandalism in the Guidestone's history. The fact the monument had not been vandalized prior to 2008 is telling as to how awe-inspiring and how terrifying such a monumental philosophical statement is. However, the fact it has been consistently vandalized since then makes it obvious the sentiment in the populace this philosophy evokes one of fear and rejection. It can be speculated that the first act of vandalism involving the slogans Obama is a Muslim, read this Rockefeller, and other anti-New World Order statements less fit for reprinting, and the most recent act of vandalism involving the statements banish all evil and ISIS goddess of love were done by the same group of people, and this group might have had the monument erected to start with. In September 2014, it was reported that a notch carved in 2009 on the English stone had been filled by a cubic brick inscribed 2014. The newly added brick with 20 and 14 was then removed by unspecified authorities on September 25th, 2014. In video shot on a cell phone by a tourist of the unspecified authorities, they arrived to remove the stone without announcement, used a peculiar ritualistic manner to break the stone apart, identified themselves only by saying, it's my job just to keep the monument clean, and explained the origin of the inserted granite cube as just some idiot put it there. The complete sequence of numbers and letters engraved on the inserted granite cube was 8, 16, 20, 14, with M, M, on the top and J A M on the bottom face. So the series of events proceeded thus. They were built 1979. They were first vandalized with anti New World Order graffiti 2008. Next, a notch was carved in the upper right corner of the English tablet. 2009. Then the Goddess of Love vandalism occurred, September 3, 2014. Then the cube was added into the notched area, around September 5, 2014. Then the cube was removed, September 25, 2014. All of these events are mysterious, and thus the entire location remains a modern mystery. Perhaps the most enduring mystery of the Georgia Guidestones is an inscription on the explanatory tablet that was insert at the time of the monument's initial erection 
1979, which describes the burial six feet below this spot of a time capsule or a lockbox full of items considered useful at the time of its burial, whose contents remain unknown and the inscription describing which remains incomplete. Coral Castle Coral Castle is an oolite limestone structure created by the Latvian-American eccentric Edward Leed Skalnan, 1887-1951, located in Leisure City, Florida, in Miami-Dade County at the intersection of South Dixie Highway, US-1, and Southwest 157th Avenue. The structure comprises numerous megalithic stones, mostly limestone formed from coral, each weighing several tons. According to Coral Castle's own promotional material, Edward Leed Scallon was suddenly rejected by his 16-year-old fiance, Agnes Skvust, in Latvia, just one day before the wedding. Leaving for America, he came down with allegedly terminal tuberculosis, but spontaneously healed, stating that magnets had some effect on his disease. Edward spent more than 28 years building the Coral Castle, refusing to allow anyone to view him while he worked. A few teenagers claimed to have witnessed his work, reporting that he had caused the blocks of coral to move like hydrogen balloons. The only tool that Leed Scallon spoke of using was a perpetual motion holder. Originally, Rock Gate was built as Ed's Place in Florida City, Florida, the southernmost city in the USA that is not on an island, and resided there from 1923 until 1936 when it was moved 10 miles to the north to its present location in Leisure City, Florida. Leeds Gallinan continued to work on the castle up until his death in 1951. Among the features and carvings of the castle are a two-story castle tower that served as Leedskalnan's living quarters, walls consisting of eight-foot-high pieces of stone, an accurate sundial, a Polaris telescope, an obelisk, a barbecue, a water well, a fountain, celestial stars and planets, and numerous pieces of furniture. The furniture pieces include a heart-shaped table, a table in the shape of Florida, 25 rocking chairs, chairs resembling crescent moons, a bathtub, beds, and a throne. With few exceptions, the objects are made from single pieces of stone that weigh, on average, 15 short tons, 14 tons each. The largest stone weighs 30 short tons, 27 tons, and the tallest are two monoliths standing 20 feet, 7.6 meters each. A nine short ton, 8.2 ton, revolving eight foot tall gate is carved so that it fits within a quarter of an inch of the walls. It was well balanced, reportedly so that a child could open it with a push of a finger. Lead Scalnan had drilled a hole from top to bottom and inserted a metal rod. The rock rested on an old truck bearing. The mechanism finally failed for the first time in 1986.